This is September 8th from Letty Cowman's book, Streams in the Desert. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Psalm 4 verse 1. This is one of the grandest testimonies ever given by man to the moral government of God. It is not a man's thanksgiving that he has been set free from suffering. It is a thanksgiving that he has been set free through suffering. Quote, thou hast, thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress, end quote. He declares the sorrows of life to have been themselves the source of life's enlargement. And have not you and I a thousand times felt this to be true? It is written of Joseph in the dungeon that, quote, the iron entered into his soul, end quote. We all feel that what Joseph needed for his soul was just the iron. He had seen only the glitter of the gold. He had been rejoicing in youthful dreams and dreaming hardens the heart. He who sheds tears over a romance will not be most apt to help reality. Real sorrow will be too unpoetic for him. We need the iron to enlarge our nature. The gold is but a vision. The iron is an experience. The chain which unites me to humanity must be an iron chain. That touch of nature which makes the world akin is not joy, but sorrow. Gold is partial, but iron is universal. My soul, if thou wouldst be enlarged into human sympathy, thou must be narrowed into limits of human suffering. Joseph's dungeon is the road to Joseph's throne. Thou canst not lift the iron load of thy brother if the iron hath not entered into thee. It is thy limit that is thine enlargement. It is the shadows of thy life that are the real fulfillment of thy dreams of glory. Murmur not at the shadows. They are better revelations than thy dreams. Say not that the shades of the prison house have fettered thee. Thy fetters are wings, wings of flight into the bosom of humanity. The door of thy prison house is a door into the heart of the universe. God has enlarged thee by the binding of sorrow's chain. That's attributed to George Matheson. It ends with this. If Joseph had not been Egypt's prisoner, he had never been Egypt's governor. The iron chain about his feet ushered in the golden chain about his neck. So the thing that draws us closer to all other humans and to life itself and enlarges us into the people we ought to be is our suffering. Hard, but good thought for today. Hope you have a wonderful day.